So I'm going to follow this creek up the mountain every hundred yards, putting traps that I have here. I already put two up. This will allow me to find them. This will allow me to find them easier. Um, and um, when I come check them. So let's go on. So hanging the trap here. Now ideally I want an open space so if the hornets start coming and exploring it and then flying off, I can see the direction that they're going. Um, I'm also from a visit from a low, from a distance over there, that's the property over there. I can kind of watch from up there or whatever and see if there's any hornets or anyone visiting. So and it's nice, black, it kind of blends in. Looks good. <laughs> I'll try to stamp in this tree without falling out. <laughs> Uh, one of the dangers, probably the biggest danger isn't the hornets, but me injuring myself trying to set up traps for the hornets. So this would be, I can view this from over there too. Or, yeah, I think it's a good lo location right here on this branch. Out of reach from a bear, or up, maybe up there. I think I'm going to put up there. All right, just two to go. And I saw a big fly, which tells me they're already curious with the smell as it permeates outwards. So I'm gonna work my try to work my way up on that ridge and get one up in there. And then work my way back down to the house. I'm gonna make my way up this <coughs> this ravine. It's really important. We now just have everything sequestered so you got your hands free when climbing. I've got special boots on. These are uh, special mountain boots. They got grips on them. So even on stone, um, you know, moss, I've got a pretty good grip. You know, more, much more of a grip than if I would not, like ninja toes. They're also steel, um, so I can kick, move dirt aside, kick into the, kick into the, into the dirt, right, for grip. Um, so they're really important to have the right equipment on, even though this is supposed to be bent up. My pants are a little long here. All right, let's go up here. The other thing you got to be careful of is really loose rocks and stuff. So I'm actually going to put away the phone so I'm a little bit more safer. I'm at the top and you can see just a little stream. But look at the devastation this little stream creates in the springtime. Right? Did that drop something? Did something fall? No, I don't see anything. I haven't lost anything. Nope, nope. Nope. Uh, it's just... So, this is probably be drinking water here. Huh? No. Some water there. So it's just filtering down. Alright. Look what I found. It's a road. It's a actual, would have been a public road at one point. And it probably technically still is. But you can see how nature has just taken it over. And uh, this is great. If I can find the, where it goes, I can drive it. Hack my way through some of these trees and really scour the land. And this is just over his land. This is awesome. See the concrete the pavement? Like 20 years old, maybe 30. You can see the, the work that they put there on the siding. So I was just talking on the phone, and there is Osuzume hitting this tree right here. And I saw one fly that way, and I saw one fly this way. I saw Kiro. So they're feeding on these trees. All right, made a quick feeder. <laughs> really quick, I just spray painted it, so it looks cool. So now I'm going to put elixir. So I just cut the bottom so they can land and feed. I'm going to put some stones in there, um, gravel, and then I'm going to fill it up with uh, juice. So I'll put a feeder right here. So come back in an hour or two, and uh, somewhere up in this tree, they're feeding on the sap. Hope you enjoy this video. Got other videos. Maybe you've seen me on Animal Planet. Maybe you've seen my latest documentary on Smithsonian or Nat Geo called Killer Hornets. 
which is a 4K um, video, all up close and personal, all shots that I help bring about. You know, these hornets are a threat to bees, they're a threat to man. Uh, they grow exponentially. They're an apex predator. They have no natural enemies. Very, very few. They have a few when they're young. You know, if the hive is small enough, a bear will get in there and eat it. But once the hive gets to the stage a year, and you know, um, an elderly woman in a wheelchair was just killed in Tokyo because she couldn't get away. The key thing to know when you see a hornet near you, whatever, is don't freak out. Don't run. Don't scream. Freeze. Hornets don't attack things that are that are not moving because it could be a tree or whatever it could buzz right in your face and if you don't move just stare at it don't blink don't move it's very unlikely that it's going to sting you it reacts to movement their brain isn't very sophisticated so the key thing right now is um, understand the thing that you're dealing with especially a hornet or whatever and res respond appropriately what I hope to do here is if they start feeding, it will give me a, a, a direction. So I'm also going to set up another feeder, um, maybe over there by the barbecue to see if I get triangulation um, for it. But I'm going to do that once this feeder they're feeding on here, then I know that it's active. So, yep. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Visit hornethunter.com. You can support my Patreon page, um, or uh, you know, you could uh, send me an email at, at mike at hornethunter.com.